varicose veins come back after treatment? The story is that, uh, that you hear all the time is people say, don't get your veins treated, they'll only come back. What I actually you find is that when you look at scientifically, there's three reasons you get veins back after surgery. The first is that the doctors have actually not bothered to look as to where they come from. They've assumed that they only ever come from the groin or maybe behind the knee. But using the new duplex ultrasound scan that we use at the Whiteley Clinic, we can find they come from all different areas, sometimes the pelvis, sometimes things called perforators. And by making a proper road map, it means we never miss the veins. So by not missing the veins, you're not going to that get that cause of recurrence. The second cause of recurrence is the technique you use to treat them. So once you've found them, if all you do is then strip them or pull them out, you stimulate the body into growing them back. And we won a research prize in 2005 and published in 2007 at the Whiteley Clinic that stripping veins away just causes them to grow back and it's not really worth doing in a, the majority of patients. Using all the new techniques that we use at the Whiteley Clinic, either the lasers or the radio frequency or the foam, as long as you use them in the right order and in the right veins, you can prevent that from happening, leaving only the third method of getting veins back and that's your genetic predisposition. If you come from a veins family, and you must do basically if you've got veins, you've got the genetics to get it, your chance of getting veins back in the future is about 3% per year. So we can reduce this big risk of getting them back about 60% per year that people talk about. By using proper duplex ultrasound, by using the proper techniques, we can get that down to about 3% per year, and then you can't get lower than that.